Alicia with New World Tarot and I just wanted to come on very quickly and just say happy Halloween yes it is it is that time of year again and I love Halloween it is one of my favorite holidays and yes I'm one of those crazy people in which Halloween is actually a holiday at least as far as I'm concerned so I just wanted to come on and just spread that joy and wish you a happy and joyful Halloween to you guys as well and uh, so though I love Halloween I have to admit um, this Halloween was probably a little bit a little bit bittersweet for me um, I actually was supposed to do my first ever uh, festival uh, reading so tarot reading at a fall festival and uh, due to the horrible weather that we've had here it was canceled so I was really looking forward to just the challenge of that I had a lot of energy building up I was really nervous I was just wondering if I could handle hand, um, reading for so many people back up you know back to back to back person after person after person and I was looking forward to the test of it and the challenge of it and so it's kind of bittersweet which I kind of never really you know found out how that would work out at least not yet so hopefully I will have to find another festival opportunity or something like that and of course I will post it out if I do find something and let you know and so I also <laughs> I wanted to bring in a pumpkin to as I kind of talk wanted to talk about Halloween and, and just kind of kind of you know use it as kind of a visual aid but as it turned out um I don't know if this happened to you but apparently there's a lot of squirrels in my neighborhood and they just made a big snack out of my pumpkin like <laughs> it is gone it's been eaten from the inside out it's just like uh, not much left just a bunch of seeds so they kind of got hungry and made a little snack out of it which you know squirrels are cute I don't mind like <laughs> you know, as long as it you know went to good use like, what can I say like winter's coming and I, I you know they got to get through winter so they had a nice big fall snack before that I hope that they enjoyed it but um yeah so you know unfortunately <laughs> all the pumpkins that I now have are plastic so no more real pumpkin but that's okay you know the worst things that happen in life so I just wanted to come on and you know it's a time of year and it to me it's the first Halloween is the first of what I consider the big end of year holidays you know it's, it's Halloween time and I just wanted to come on and just wish you a happy Halloween to you your friends your family and there just is nothing else quite like this time of year you know like at all you can argue that Christmas isn't like anything else and to an extent it is but I actually think at its core Christmas is a lot in common with other feast holidays like Thanksgiving even a little bit with Easter you know with obvious big differences of course but but what other holidays celebrate you know what 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 other holidays I mean, really celebrate like the fantastic the frightening you know the outrageous the paranormal you know the spiritual part of ourselves other than Halloween there really is nothing quite like Halloween and so you know let's talk about it for a second so Halloween you know at its core it appears to be all about childhood fun and ghosts and goblins and monsters and candy you know obviously you can't forget the candy and Halloween has such a rich and amazing history and it's really the product of several in incarnations and, and lots of different cultures filtering you know through different perceptions and different historical moments and now you know I'm not going to rehash Halloween's history today you know though if you haven't already I highly encourage you to do so yourself either by reading about it or watching a good video and and I think uh, the best book I've personally encountered on the subject is is Halloween by Raven Silverwolf or no Silver Silver Raven Wolf I apologize like and this book is wonderful and it's really just a great book that dives deeply into the multi-pronged history of the holiday and then continues on to explain the history and the background of a lot of the symbolism that really has come to symbolize that holiday you know and, and, and like jack-o-lanterns and bats and witches and black cats etc you know and then it, it really goes on to give a lot of um, uh, fun recipes as well no look at that 
awesome stuff. Really good stuff in here. Beautiful. And it also has rituals and spells you can use during this time of year. And yeah, it's just a really, really fun read that I highly, highly recommend. It's very Halloween-y and will definitely put you in the mood for it. And another favorite of mine that I look forward to every year is the Halloween Tarot, which is a tarot deck. And it is by, it's a U.S. Game Systems tarot deck. And I think it's by Karen Lee. Yes. Karen Lee. And artwork by Kipling West. And it's just so whimsical and fun. And definitely takes a lighthearted approach. But I feel like some of the imagery they've made up is brilliant. Like it is so, so brilliant. And I absolutely adore it. And again, I was going to bring it to the festival to do some readings with if people chose to have that, but, you know, it's okay. Like, I think I'll, I will have another chance to do so in the future. So, that definitely is a favorite of mine. Okay, well, but going back to the sub subject of Halloween itself, so... At the foundation of all this fun and gaiety, there's some very powerful and pertinent, pertinent meetings. And at its core, Halloween is really all about spirit, fear, and nonconformity. Okay, so to me, Halloween is all about the, the trifecta of spirit, fear, and nonconformity. All right, so first thing first, Halloween is all about the thinning of the veil between the physical world and the spiritual world. And to me, it's an understanding and a reverence for our eternal spiritual selves. And it's a, it's a reference for the idea that we begin as spirit, we are spirit and physical during our lives, and then we return to purely spirit after our lives are done. And it, Halloween really is a holiday that encourages the, the communication between, and the connectedness between the physical world and the spiritual world, okay? And a recurring theme among the different Halloween originating cultures is that the dead can help the living in their lives, and the living can help the dead in their afterlives. And I can't help but use the term dead with quotes because clearly it also, um, exem it also ex ex underlines the fact that the dead are dead in, in body only, but they continue to live spiritually. So. Now you may agree or disagree with these particular beliefs, and that's okay, but to me, the celebration of communing with the dead, you know, those, the traditions of necromancy, if you will, that are behind Halloween, to me, that's not to be celebrated because, because you, you hold those beliefs as exact canyon. You know, I, I for example, I, I particularly don't, don't, that's not something that I practice, but to me, I feel like this idea should be celebrated because at its heart, it reminds us that the physical world and the spiritual world are not as separate as they appear to our, our eyes. Okay, that the, it, it celebrates the truth that the spiritual world and the physical world are forever entwined. The spirit world is a part of our world too. And we, not, we need not to fear this and fear the dead but to celebrate the dead because it reminds us of our strength and our eternal our, et our eternity and our never endingness you know yeah I, I you know I, and I, I I love it and in fact I actually wear I love I've always loved the symbol of a uh, Ouroboros I believe is how you pronounce it but it literally is a snake in this case it's a dragon which I, you know I, I love dragons as well but the snake eating its tail which to me symbolizes the forever beginning flowing right into an end flowing right back into a beginning the constant uh, death and rebirth process that really defines spirit in, in general you know spirit enters body the body dies but spirit keeps on going and and I, I believe it re takes on new physical life so you know just keeps rebirth death rebirth death in a cycle and Halloween says, you know, just that, that its heart is what, is what it celebrates, the constant cycle of birth and rebirth. And at Halloween, we commonly agree, you know, that if something uncanny or unexplainable happens, the, t the rule for this time of year is don't cover your eyes and run away, face it and look it dead in the eye. 
And speaking of fear, another amazing thing that Halloween brings is just that. It's all about facing your fear and even approaching it with a level of lightheartedness and a good laugh. So, you know, like it or not, fear is a huge part of our lives. It is a hereditary response designed to keep us safe. However, in our modern Western world, we're usually quite safe from the threats that the sensation of fear was originally designed for. You know, there, there are no uh, attacking lions or tigers or bears, and, you know, gone are the attacking saber-toothed tigers and the mammoths and whatever else. And yet, we are so often frozen and, and bound by thoughts that scare us. And one thing that I have to say that that kind of scared me was actually doing this festival and reading for tarot for so many people and I was looking forward to doing it I did approach that of a sense of fear because um, that literally you know kind of being in public and I'm kind of a shyer person and I, I was just wondering you know what would I go what happens like what if I go blank what if I can't remember the meaning of the cards <laughs> you know what if someone gives me a hard time what if what if what if what if so I actually was very nervous about it. I was looking forward to the fear and the challenge of, of, of reading for so many people back to back to back to back with very little breaks. And I was wondering if I can do it, you know? And because so many fears and insecurities come up and, and now, you know, I'll need to do something with this energy and burn off this energy in a different way. All right? And lastly, Halloween is all about nonconformity. Like, it's the one time of year we can be as strange and as odd as you want to be and as long as you blame it on the holiday, no one judges you. <laughs> you know, you still keep out your friends, like people don't uh, distance you. In fact, people will usually try to outstrange each other. And oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be this odd, I'm gonna be odder, I'm gonna be even stranger than you. And you know, and it kind of gives an excuse for a mainstream society to be what you want. And, and in fact, Halloween is a time for a lot of people a lot of us to exper experiment with something that um, we may not think is socially acceptable or that we're too afraid to completely come, you know, come out to the larger world as, so we might want to experiment with it, play around with it at Halloween. You know, because if we get afraid of the reaction or get ashamed or embarrassed, we can always just say, ah, just for Halloween, you know. So, but, you know, if only we can expand this time of year, this energy, this accepting, accepting energy, you know, throughout the year, and, you know, and that's hopefully is something that I feel like we're moving towards, and, you know, and, and everyone being very accepting and open to their own particular individuality, and just, just reveling it in all the variety and all the color, you know, this is, I, you know, I wish Halloween was every day, <laughs> you know, I really do, so it just has a special, special energy. Alright, so this Halloween, I want you to celebrate you, alright, celebrate your spirit, Celebrate its beauty, its strength, and its indestructible and eternal nature. All right, and also think of something that scares you and do it. It could be a social fear like coming out, or a physical fear like walking on hot coals, or bungee jumping, or skydiving, or or going on a nude beach. You know, journal on how you feel before you do it, and then after how you feel after you do it, and just enjoy your life and be victorious and be unique and one of a kind to the best of your ability. <laughs> All right, well, that's all I had. I just want to come on very, very quickly and just get that out. And I hope next year to have a, a little bit more, um, more of an organized and well thought out Halloween video. But uh, this is it for this year. <laughs> and I just, again, want to wish you a happy Halloween. All right. Yay. And take care of yourselves. Enjoy your family. Appreciate your ancestors that have come before you and every part of Halloween. And just enjoy and have fun. All right, I love you and I will see you next time. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye.